Hello everyone. On May 4th, Saturn will be reaching Gong Gong, a TNO or ATNO, uh, so a trans uh, um object. So that's the uh, the reason for this uh, this video. But in the meanwhile, I would like to look back on some events that happened uh, in the last maybe two weeks or so, because it's they are we are really living in interesting times. Uh, first of all. Um, the space-time moment uh, carries this um, this uh, mystic rectangle that I keep talking about, which is uh, which is uh, forming between uh, the nodal axis Saturn and uh, trans Pluto. I explained this many many times. We're going to look at it again, uh, which is a very funny uh, configuration because you have two clashing oppositions in within in the in the middle of it so the uh, so the, uh, the the inner um value of the the situation is always a huge tension but the outer aspects are sextiles and trines uh, sextiles always provide potentials and trines are always eliminating um uh, things and allowing us to proceed uh, as Bernard Brady uh, named trines in, in forecasting she said that it is like movement without friction uh, something occurs uh, very quickly simply because all the obstacles are taken away and uh, if you look around um, and we are going to look at Gong Gong what Gong Gong was or is in, in Chinese mythology and folk tales uh, you will see that this is exactly what's happening uh, in, in outside just if you, if we, I'm recording this on the 26th or 27th, I don't even know what date it is. But anyhow, it's there's going to be a long holiday mm -hmm. in Hungary. Um, so because um, first of May is a national holiday, so we are before I'm before the holiday weekend, and uh, um, just if you look around, this is what happened. Uh, a number of people in U.S. media and uh, government resigned or were forced to resign. Among them, Tucker Carlson, which we still don't know whether he just stepped down or he was forced to step down. But if you consider how he, what, what, what were the the topics he dealt with, uh, the uh, the so-called insurrection, which turns out was a CIA uh, FBI covered operation uh, that's what the, uh, the the footage shows uh, so it, it was really a dishonest totally dishonest move to try to to trigger some sort of of uh, uh, riot or something like that there's also um a number I look at the border the border situation is terrible there are five million people who were let in by the Biden administration Biden announced that he's going to uh, uh also he's going to be taking taking part in the uh, in the election congratulations uh, mr mr biden uh you are <laughs> you know if i look at him i don't know whether i should cry or 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 really uh laugh because he is an idiot he's a senile old guy who doesn't doesn't know where he is what who he's talking to what he's saying it's 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 sad and at the same time, ridiculous. Uh, you should know, uh, dear American fellow uh, uh, people, that the world is laughing at you. You are dealing with idiotic problems. You're creating problems which are not problems, and you're not dealing with the real one. And your your financial hegemony is also threatened because a lot of a lot of countries started to to. Uh, um, uh, do commerce not through the dollar but through their own currency or a, another currency so uh, look at what's happening to the to the banks in the united states just and and the banks are totally totally dishonest i had to make a transfer from a u.s account dollar account to a uh, united uh, kingdom uh, dollar account at barclays and this is what happened uh, as i was doing it uh, I had to choose it. It was a, all of a sudden there was a, this message with a big exclamation mark uh, that this is a foreign account. Are you going to proceed? And of course, I said yes, because I wanted to 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 make the, the transfer. And what happened? 
they first converted the dollar to um, to um, pound sterling, but but because this was a pound sterling account, they reconverted it to dollars, and I lost fifteen percent of the money. Of course, I didn't let it happen because I was I uh, we screamed bloody hell. But this is what's happening in the world. Okay, the banks became totally dishonest, and and the world leaders are totally dishonest. Think about what is happening in in uh, Europe. Okay, Ursula von der Leyen so far gave I think sixty five billion sixty five billion euros to a country which is non EU country and non NATO country. Jens Stoltenberg, the idiot who is now leading the NATO, he declared that U the Ukraine is going to be a NATO country. Really? Why don't you read your own uh, 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 covenant, your own treaty, how you were forming this, this, uh, uh, um, what is it? It's a, um, a military um, group or whatever it does it's it's it tells you how you can do it you won't be just because you say so because you're an activist instead of or a, a politician instead of a true um a general or someone who you know what they used to be generals who was who were leading nato it's a it's a whole thing the whole thing is a farce okay i'm, I'm going to stop because Let's take a look at what we can. I'm not going to be able to reform the whole world, but we can actually read the space-time moment, and this is it. Saturn was nearing uh, Gong Gong for quite a while. This is for London, so it's on 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 the uh, fourth uh, of May at two twenty-five a.m. in London. I forgot to put there in uh, a.m., but you can see uh, that the the sun is at the cusp of the third house. So of course, it's it's uh, in the small hours. And Pluto just turned, just turned retrograde. So there's another thing that is important. Uh, Gong Gong, we are going to look at what it is. So this is the exact moment when Saturn is conjunct Gong Gong. And you still have the Uranus. Uh, and let's, let's look at it in this way. So Jupiter is already separating from Aries. Uh, uh, so... Um, the drastically altered outward circumstances being blown up is kind of e easing. Uh, the North Node is conjunct uh, um, Australia, North Node in Taurus. I keep telling you, every 18 years, uh, the North Node it moves into Taurus for one and a half years. This is the time, this is the precise time to look at your finances and your harmony and security creating abilities and summon them in order to secure your well-being for the next 18 years. This is the time. We barely have two months left or six weeks left. And now Australia, the karma breaker, is exactly conjunct it. So please do something about it. You still can. Mercury retrograde is nearing Vesta, the focusing principle. Focus on your inner knowledge, on your inner things, uh, because Mercury retrograde always gives us, provides us the potential to do, to to actually look, look inside. And the Sun is nearing a conjunction with Uranus. Um, it, it, take, it will take another seven days or something like that. We will look at it, of course, in detail. And if you look at the Sedna Juno conjunction, Juno moved already into Gemini, while Sedna is still at the very end of Taurus, at the very last digit. Uh, Pluto, of course, is rising opposite Pallas Athena, which is setting, um, creating wisdom. And then uh, the asteroid Lilith is exactly conjunct uh, the vertex, which is the point where you have no uh, free will. And of course, Vesta here, uh, um, uh, Lilith here is uh, revolt against injustice. Now here's Gong Gong. Uh, and this is something that I took from uh, Wikipedia. So it's a direct copy. Gong Gong is a Chinese water god who is depicted in Chinese mythology and folk tales as having a copper human head with an iron forehead red hair and the body of a serpent sometimes the uh, the body is also uh could be like just a head and torso is human and the the the, the tail is uh, serpentine you can see both these are the pictures i found not very good but that's it he is destructive and is blamed for various cosmic catastrophes uh, according to one when he was fighting against zurong uh he bumped his head into the canopy of cosmos and and uh, a large uh, hole was created by that. And this is the description of 
the cataclysm, the Vila cataclysm that occurred 11,600 years ago and effectively changed the face of the earth. And uh, the fact that Saturn is now conjunct Gong Gong uh, is, in, you could interpret it in many ways. If you look around, uh, the powers that be are totally crazy and reckless. Uh, I haven't actually enumerated everything in, uh, in just in U.S. history, in U.S., in the U.S. It turned out that uh, your dear uh, American fellow man, uh, your, your very, uh, very smart and very honest Secretary of State, Bin, uh, Anthony Blinken, uh, single-handedly was responsible for those 51 uh, law enforcement officials, FBI, CIA, whatever, who claimed that the laptop was a Russian hoax. Okay, and now he is your Secretary of State. Think about it. This is this is called uh, election interference, and it's it's a felony. Okay, and you have a felon as your uh, your uh, Secretary of State. He is also single handedly responsible that the uh, the um, conflict between the Ukraine and and uh, Russia escalated into a full blown hot war. Because if you hadn't uh, been dishonest with the Russians, this would never have ha happened. If you hadn't haven't been given weapons and 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 arms and and things to to the Ukrainians, and who are now fighting, of course, for their land, which my heart goes out for them. But this whole thing is the making of the Uni United States. And by the way, Tucker Carlson. Uh, said so as well. So the, his ousting, and we still don't know whether he was he left on his own volition or he actually was uh, uh, ter terminated. But he actually dealt with things that the mainstream media, those monkeys at the mainstream media, are not allowed to or are unwilling to uh, talk about. He took all these controversial issues uh, into his hands and and spoke about them and showed and indicated proof that they are, exist. Uh, the election interference, uh, the insurrection hoax, uh, the that the laptop from hell, uh, uh, you know, Biden's very smart son's uh, laptop is real. Uh, these these things are something, uh, are things that we are not, we are not learning the truth. I will tell you the reason why, but anyhow. So here's a very complex planetary picture. Again, in the London chart uh, at four or five degrees, and if you take away the mid heaven and the, um, uh, the the ascendant, you will still have the uh, mystic rectangle that I'm. So the, the the original mystic rectangle is here, Saturn opposite trans Pluto and the nodes in Australia at uh, the North Node at the moment. But you can see that there's a fixed ground cross between the ascendant, descendant, and the nodes. There's also a mutable ground cross between MCIC and Saturn trans Pluto. And there are uh, two mystic rectangles as well. One is fire, air, and the other one is earth, water. So you have everything. We really, this is a very complex planetary picture. You have enough tension and redemption as well uh, at the same time. And here are the transcendental objects. On the midheaven, you have Eury Decay, who uh, is funny because uh, we will get to the very end to the constellation Aquila, uh, which in... Greek mythology is the, the eagle that uh, um, Orpheus uses to go down to the underworld in order to take her home. And of course, he doesn't succeed because no one can be redeemed from the underworld. No one can be restored from the underworld once uh, he or she is dead. Uh, but in Hungarian uh, mythology, uh, the whole constellation, the eagle, is the bird of the Taltos. The Taltos is something like a shaman, uh, more like a medicine man or a healer, but also a spiritual uh, person. So uh, it, it's quite redeem, uh, relieving that, that now in, in the mid heaven you have every decay, you really decay probably. I don't know how to pronounce it. Forgive me. On the IC of Atlantis, uh, this actually tells us that we are very, very near to Atlantean times. Again, we are at the brink of destroying our own world. And this is what the powers that be always did. Whenever uh, the, the, the world became ungovernable or the economy collapsed, then they 
made a full-blown war and then they reset the whole thing. This, this is something that in older times in Hungary, when a pub, uh, uh, when, when, you know, when the, uh, the, the people working at the pub uh, stole too much, what they did was they burned the pub down to the, to the grounds. And then this way, they, they never found out uh, how much they stole. That's exactly what the, uh, the powers that be always do with us. On the, the ascendant, you don't have any transcendental object. On the descendant, you have virtus, virtues. Hebe, uh, uh, young people, she, Hebe was the goddess of youth. Zeus, the chief god, Varuna and Altarf. Altarf is the uh, alpha star of uh, of cancer and it it's uh, it's denote, I mean, if you translate the word in, in Arabic, it means uh, the stare. And um, so the, uh, the, the, the ga gazing, the gazer, and it usually denotes insight. And Varuna is a funny uh, uh, aspect in comic astrology because it you know, it describes queen karma, the fact that I need to produce an heir no matter what. So the desperation to have an heir is linked to Varuna. And um, um, I could now harp about young people because Hebe is, is there because young people, the problem with young people is that they always learn from electric gadgets so they never go out into the real world they don't experience stuff they want to read about it you want they, they live in an alternative world in some kind of virtual reality instead of going out there and experience uh, it for themselves and they don't uh, don't uh, listen to old people who already have knowledge and experience and they don't they take everything at face value that they can read on the internet which is garbage <laughs> what happened to me the other day uh someone wrote to me if i have a if i have a, a book or an article on lisbon on uh, the mundan chart of lisbon and i emailed back that no i don't have any of this and i'm not a mundane astrologer and she wrote back that she used chat gpt to get this this answer <laughs> imagine <laughs> so this is how reliable Ch chat gpt is uh, that was an interesting, an interesting uh, um, thing for me to happen. Okay, on Saturn you have not just Gong Gong but Tep Sikore, who is the uh, muse of dance, and then have Adiga, uh, the alpha star of Aquila, which we are going to look at. On the North Node you still have Sheraton and Meshartim, the two uh, stars of uh, of Aries. And um, they are uh, important stars, beta and gamma. So they they uh, are healing words for the negative aspects of of uh, being uh, uh, the ram or the celestial ram. And Meshatim is also a star uh, which heralds a new era. It was called once the first star of Aries. On the south node, you have Amenhotep, who uh, there were four. Uh, pharaohs named named Amenhotep. The third was still Amenhotep, and the fourth one, the one who became Akhenaten. And uh, so it, it's it's a dynasty, and uh, it is uh, it, it denotes heritage, dynasty, old knowledge, experience. Uh, also, something that is uh, comes down from from uh, our our uh, in our ancestors. So old knowledge, and then Rhadamantis, who uh, was the uh, the daughter, the son of uh, European Zeus, who who rectified the mess after the Minotaur in Crete, and he became the king. And after his death, uh, because he was so just and so such a good ruler, uh, Zeus uh, puts him into the uh, uh, in the underworld. He's the he's going to be the judge of the underworld. Uh, that's on the south node. So together, these two archetypes denote that we need to learn from our traditions, our ancestors, and uh, follow those traditions because those are the ones that are create justice and good laws. And on trans Pluto, you have ab abundancia, abundance, uh, geisha, and harmony. So in order to elevate, to to go one uh, step higher, to go one dimension higher, to trans stuff from above to channel things you you need abundance that's what you need you need abundance harmony and pleasures that's exactly why we are here on the earth plane okay
there is also a, uh, an air fire kite. It's called air fire kite because it's in the Grand Trine is in air science and the the anchor point is in uh, fire. So that's why it's air fire. If it were the other way around, it, if it were a, 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 a fire Grand Trine, we would call it fire air uh, kite. Pluto in Aquarius just is moving backwards in a, in a couple of weeks it's going to go back to to uh, to capricorn uh still trying to transform old outdated power structures let's hope it will be able to do something on Pallas athena uh, uh sorry uh, opposite it is Pallas athena in leo it just barely moved into leo uh so you have wisdom so uh, power and wisdom are opposed, but it also creates an inner tension of the kite, so it's going to move. And then on Juno, uh, uh, you have Sedna still. So uh, Sedna is an erratic in Taurus, so it's energetically not in the the kite, but of course physically it is there. What closes the kite energetically is Juno, of course, which just moved into Gemini, and of course Dark Moon Lilith, which is in Libra at the zero degrees of one degree Libra. Here are the transcendental objects. On Pluto, you have Orius. Orius, you may remember, is a bear centaur who uh, is tearing people uh, apart and killing them uh, together with his uh, his younger brother. And they should be executed. They should get the death penalty. But because they are the great grandsons of uh, Ares, uh, of Ares, the um, the war god, uh, they get mitigated. Uh, punishment. And this is exactly what you see uh, now in plutocrats. They get mitigated punishments. Uh, uh, the leaders are dishonest, corrupt to the core. They squander uh, tax, uh, tax dollars, taxpayers' money. Uh, they they use use it for horrible causes, uh, and nothing happens. Nothing nothing happens to them. So the uh, they are it's a, some sort of unaccountability that you can see in the word. And this this is Pluto or the Pluto Orius conjunction. Uh, Tazared is uh, the gamma star of Aquila. Uh, it's a quite bright star. We are going to look at Aquila in a minute. And on Pallas Athena you have Silarus, and uh, in um, comic astrology. Three of these centaurs are uh, the uh, are linked to betterment. Uh, Pholus is one, of course. Stilleris is the other, and uh, and uh, Riphonos, which is also prominent, is is the third one for different reasons. Uh, Riphonos, we are, we are going to get to Riphonos. Let's take a look at uh, Stilleris first. Stilleris is the most beautiful of the centaurs, and and in Hungarian at least we have this notion that if you are beautiful outside that then you are very very good inside as well uh which is not always true but let's hope it is but that's what's happened to Silurus because he is the beautiful centaur he wants to better himself so he is he's trying to be a nice cultivated uh intellectual he's turning himself into leaving behind the animal side of centaurs it's on Pallas Athena indicating that with wisdom uh, creating wisdom and wise situations around you, you can better yourself. On Juno, you have Cleopatra and the Pleiades, a strong woman, two strong women. Juno is also the first wife. And the Pleiades is the home of the creator goddess. And uh, on um, Sedna, you have Shiva, the destroyer of the Trimurti, and also the Pleiades. The Pleiades is about a, a degree. They are a degree apart, so it's just the, the tiniest of the cons of the constellations, named constellations, and uh, it is the cre the home of the creator goddess. And on the dark moon, you have Cleo, history, Plotinus, and Bertius. I just mentioned them a couple of videos earlier, maybe one or two videos earlier, that they are two philosophers. Plotinus is the Neoplatonist, and uh, Bertius is a um, senator from the fourth or fifth century in Rome, who was a who was a statesperson, but at the same time also a philosopher. So uh, you you should learn from history, Cleo, and through philosophy you should know what the right an answers are. And then on the dark moon you also have Riphonos, the second of such uh, can centaurs who want to improve themselves. But this is different because Riphonos was a, a, an earth sprite an earth sprite and he was chosen among other 
uh, 11 people uh, to be the guard uh, of the uh, the guard, one of the guardians of uh, of uh, Heracles's crib, and in order to to do the task much better than he would have in the form of a sprite, he turns himself uh, into a centaur. So uh, Riphonus is the um, is a centaur uh, describing the notion that I for a sacred task or a very important task. I need to turn completely inside out myself. So I need to turn myself into something totally new and totally more um, uh, efficient. And that's exactly what we need to do now. And of course, you have also the super galactic center on the dark moon, which is a key, one of the key celestial areas in comic astrology. Uh, and it's linked to the comic issue of nothing is ever enough. And as I promised, here is Aquila. Uh, and this, this has very, very bright stars. It is very, very close to the um, Milky Way. So Aquila is, the, the, the eagle is flying towards the Milky Way. And as I said, it uh, belongs to two different myths. One describes the Taltosh, the shaman who is moving to the upper world in order to understand stuff, the divine energy, and also uh, Orpheus who goes down, who uses the uh, the, uh, the eagle to take him down to the underworld in order to rescue his wife, which he's unable to. So that's it. Um, that's for today. Uh, Gong Gong is a strange and a nasty character, so to speak. It causes a cataclysm. We are at the brink of such cataclysm. And our leaders are either dishonest or corrupt or idiots. And that's the problem. We are led by cretins. I don't know why we let it happen, but this is it. Uh, and how to turn back, I have also no idea. But I will continue to work and I will continue to speak out whatever I see, uh, even if I'm going to be banned or something from YouTube, then I will do it uh, among my own students. Thank you for listening. Bye.